Good afternoon, everyone. It's your boy Novo Somin, and we're here. As a matter of fact, before I even introduce her, let me know if I say obviously who we're here with. But if you notice what's behind me, you might have seen her work, you might have heard her name, but I'm not too sure if you know who is actually doing all these works. I know, um, I know you went to where uh, Honestville at the Tarmac, Tarmac, right? Am I right? Right. Um, Victoria Park, Girls High School. If you went to any one of these locations, then I'm guaranteed that you have seen our work. Everybody, welcome. Shani, here. How are you doing? I'm great, you know. What about you? Uh, I'm feeling fine. Now I'm standing <laughs> up next to our creative on a legend. Oh, because, thank you. Thank I you. mean, <laughs> you've changed the way we look at street art. Well, step at a time, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I want to know, right? First, first thing is, can you just give me a little backstory about who Shani is? Okay, um, let's say Shanik is a creator, and I don't want to say artist because mm -hmm. I feel like that's so limiting. I have that creator energy, and that comes from my God. Okay. So anything I put my hands to, whether it's creating a group, creating anything, food, whatever the case may be, it's just that creator energy. So in general, creator. Okay, and, <laughs> and you, I would assume that you study painting and art in, in school, and that's why you brought all of these forward? Funny enough, um, yes, to some extent, but most mm -hmm. of the painting was self-taught. It's okay. going on YouTube, YouTube education. So YouTube, Those you like, all of this. No, it's like YouTube, YouTube, <laughs> Instagram. I mean, to see how artists create, yeah. that inspired me. And once it's different and unique, I'm going for it. So the main thing in school was not art and painting? It was, uh -huh. but I didn't take it as okay, well, as serious, because I didn't have that belief. Okay. I know I could have done it, but I didn't believe it so much. But so yeah, when so. did the belief set in then? When I got desperate, and I'll explain that. Now, I came, well, after school, yeah. you know, sometimes when you do visual assets, the market is pretty soft. Yeah. Yeah. So, me coming out doing art and design, there is not much out there for a person like me. So, I found myself being young wanting to do certain things so you know take care of yourself and so forth and i can't do it so i'm okay. like you know what mm -mm. this is not going to work for me so took up the pencil start drawing persons for free then started from there so okay, it was so back before, and we right. got, before we got to the wall mm -hmm. you were drawing portraits portraits yeah and you were how was that was it a successful kind of gig how did, how did it feel every once in a while it yeah. came true but um, I didn't start seeing any sort of, um, okay, this is really something that can take me far until I started murals. Okay. Murals is what I showed up for. All right, and now yeah. that you mentioned mural, where did the mural idea start from? Where did you dream, dream that up? Like, when did you dream that up to say, let me start painting on walls in public? Let's go way, way back, back yeah. in time. Back in time. <laughs> yeah. When once upon a time on the Victoria Park walls, there would there was actually several murals, right? Yeah. And these murals, going on a drive with my family, I would always see them. And sometimes you walk on the valley, was like you see on the shops, you see all these resting and stuff. I yeah. was so intrigued. I was like, you know what? I might just want to do that, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So and, that's where and it started. That's where it started. That's where it started. So where? What is the first mural that you ever did, officially? The first mural, that's in my bedroom, and I wasn't supposed to paint because my parents said you don't want me to paint. But okay. the rebellious person in me decided to All still want paint. Are <laughs> yeah. So sometimes it shouldn't even um, stop children from doing certain things because I'm painting now basically yeah. for a living. So I started in my bedroom. I took the paints on my father. They were downstairs sitting down, so I used to wait until he went to work. Uh -huh. And I did it. Forgive me, father. <laughs> <laughs> And I assume that it was it was a masterpiece, of course. The first one is always a masterpiece, or it was at trial and errors. At the time, I thought so, but when I'm now that I'm on this stage, I was like, you know, you could have done better. That that yeah, yeah, yeah. that ain't working right there. So we 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 started doing preschools, mm -hmm. and that was around when. Um, the timing when was that? I think I was twenty, either twenty twenty one around that age. Okay. 
yeah so when i started doing that um every time things would get slow i would try to um hold on a, go to a special get sponsors from several persons which i would go ahead and mention because subway mm -hmm. was one of the persons who first sponsored me like two gallons of paint okay. and i had 50 dollars which i owed somebody so it wasn't even mine i had negative <laughs> right so okay. i purchased some business cards hand those out with the 50 dollars and that was it tell me do you do these paintings for free or how what do you do with it i do have a business where i do do artwork for whether it's portraits or murals yeah. i also try to stick in that area right so i do that but however there's certain changes and so forth that i want to see i i'm going to be honest i'm bored Board i'm bored out of my mind being here and it's hard for me to come from a place like jamaica yeah and come back here and it's just not it's not what it what i know it could be let's yeah. say that and i feel like it's just because of lack of knowledge it's like me trying to be a lawyer yes i may have read a law book but it, that doesn't make that me doesn't a lawyer, make right so, so it's the same it's just that people don't know right so it takes somebody who knows what it could be or have the vision for it to take it further so instead of me complaining like most of us like to do i complain to some bit too, so, you know yeah so instead of doing that i said you know what i'm going to shut up i know it was going to take a lot of finances and so forth so i ran from it for good years but when i got it together i said you know what i'm going to just do it because i'm in St. Vincent, i'm bored i'm not seeing any changes okay. so i have to make the move sometimes you have to be the change you want to see okay but but um i feel like the part of the question was not answered completely oh, i'm sorry um <laughs> do you charge to do this or is it philanthropy or what oh, is it okay especially so, the ones in the public domain like this oh um there's some of them that those are pro bono like this one okay. but there's others that are on the outside that i'm paid for you're right? paid for but this one specifically no 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 okay <laughs> and explain i saw looking at the mirrors right i saw that you have like some call outs and some words in some of the painting uh, can you explain those messages that you have in the painting or what do, do they mean to you i'm going to start off with the one call out nation yeah now i'm not sure if you were here earlier when you heard the students say like call out nation mm, right, right right so it's just like i'm not trying this specifically is i'm not trying to just paint murals on the wall and then we go back to just have a few hand claps and then we go back to normal i don't want that that being there before what i want to do is capitalize on social media yeah. so this is a part this visual arts is a part of that and i get the kids involved we do skits and those who can paint they do that i try and find every creative way to involve us yeah right so we're calling out to the nation we're basically a small group and we're like you know when you want somebody's attention you call out to them yeah. that's what we're doing so when it gets um, to a certain level you're going to see you're going to feel and understand more why call out nation is named call out call nation. Out nation okay right so in regards to, i believe you're talking about the girls high school yes, bus up where right? you so, saw yeah. i saw a lot you? of collages of different messages and different faces so i'm just trying to understand what mm -hmm. does it mean to you okay so as a creative sometimes um you have persons that uh, gravitate to you based upon how you love how you communicate how yeah. you understand things so um that is something that I, that has always been with me so with that people will confide certain information and so forth with me I, what i'm understanding is that we have a silent pandemic in terms of mental health yeah so i just wanted to address that because you know sometimes you ask someone how they are and you know you know you can feel that even if they're good at a poker face yeah you can feel that energy so i'm like how are you really it's really don't lie i'm sincerely asking you how are you really handling life yeah especially to um our adults yes sometimes you look at the young the very young and the very old and we forget the middle and the middle right now has a huge crisis on mental health a lot of us don't we don't we're not asked because they assume we're supposed to be handling things well which in while life is boxing yeah, us yeah, down. yeah exactly. you don't you still <laughs> smile and stuff like that yeah, yeah so part of your murals are for advocating for mental health that's part of it i love artwork that is very controversial very um in your face bold yeah. and 
that's the kind that's the kind of art I love. So hence why you see murals like this. You don't see them looking the same as the murals that we normally see because I'm still trying to push the boundaries outside what we know okay. as visual arts. Who do you look up to or who can I say is a painting figure to you in this whole creative in, in the industry? Oh my gosh, there's so much. How do I ex how do I give really honor you know? to yeah. this all right, let me say this. I'm multifaceted, meaning I, like, I represent different things. Yes. Right? So it wouldn't be one specific style. It would be different. So if you look in the mirror, sometimes you see something stuff that has the outlines, and you have something that sort of looks three-dimensional, then you have fonts. It's like, it's like a collage of different things. Yeah. So it's basically a collage of different artists that inspire me okay. but I'm going to highlight one artist that really helped me in the early stages was Carl Burt Jones and I'm going to say Carl why okay. this guy is a business beast okay. beast and for a while I've been silently following his blueprint and how he handles his business and I think not enough persons understand that he, that yes he may not be what they expect but this guy is a beast when it comes to his business and i've proven that by trying it myself okay. right so him i'm gonna get props to okay and is there <laughs> anybody else in or out of st vincent that you look up to um see there are probably others um probably slight things that they do maybe it's one artwork that may stand out for me i can't name one exactly right now yeah. but i know for sure that i've been around different artists here in st vincent and they have inspired me some way somehow Okay. Just can't pinpoint a name at this point. Uh, no problem. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Let's let's turn to this for a second, right? Explain mm -hmm. you where you choose your colors and why you did you did it like this because this is not just the ordinary way of just painting. Mm -hmm. And I know I know I know artists will understand what I'm asking. Why do you <laughs> choose to be so colorful? Because I look at your mural and one thing I know about your mural, it's colorful it's the and, color. and it pops. Let's so go why do you choose to go to that kind of direction? There is um Color is something that gravitates us, it pulls us before it, any other detail pulls us, yeah. right? The type of color you have, okay? okay? So that's why our skin color is so important. That's why persons attack us or big us up based upon that, the color, the color of our yeah. skin. So I chose to focus in on color a lot because I know that if I could grab them with the color, they will notice everything else. Everything, yes. Right, so that's what I focus on, and it's not like I plan and say, Okay, well, I am going to come and I'm going to paint this blue. Yeah, right. Sometimes I just move by spirit the same morning, just move by spirit and say, You know what, I step back and say, Okay, well, I feel like this will work, okay. right? So, even if I'm let's say I'm teaching, it's gonna be a spiritual thing because I am not, I am not so um, fine tuned. Okay, I'm more free, I'm like a bird, I gotta. You know. Okay. Yeah. So it's just free thinking. What my spirit feels. So will these work. are not preempted, but more of just on the spot. Right. And whatever comes to your mind at the moment, you put that type mm -hmm. of color on it. Right. Okay. And sometimes it is where I have to actually go and draw it up and figure out if this thing will work. Okay. But I could tell you for sure, most of the stuff I work on is by spirit because okay. I have to also move very fast. Okay. So spirit. All right. And. You mentioned teaching. I passed you a time at girls' school while you were doing the mural, and I saw you had some other people with you. Mm -hmm. what, what is going on there? You're, that's your students. You're teaching them. What is going on there? That's it. They're my students. Okay. Some of them, they're not, right? But somehow they decide to come along, and I'm not going to turn them back because they could have been doing anything. But they decide, you know what? They're going to come. Come, okay. Auntie Shani, come. You know. So take you care. teach. You teach painting as well. I teach visual arts, visual right? Arts. Oh, you're I, a teacher. I don't like to call myself a teacher because okay. I feel I don't feel like I am. Okay. I'm just I just know visual arts and I try my best to at least guide them towards and, that. And this is on a professional standpoint as well with the visual arts. I'm, I'm not sure I follow. Um, uh, is this all uh, you you are at a school or you are at a centre? Oh, I'm at the school. Um, I'm at Thomas Saunders actually. Oh, so you're a visual arts teacher at Thomas Saunders. That's, so that's right. a day job while you're being a superior <laughs> on the street. Oh, if you call it that, I'll take it. I'll grab it. <laughs> all right, great. Yeah. I want to move to what are some of the plans for the future? What are, what do we have going on? What's, what's coming up? What can I expect from Shani? 
Okay, apart from call out nation, which is the social media thing. I'm into yeah. social media. I believe that this little I believe in this little phone and social media more than anything, any job out there right now. Yeah. You cannot tell me otherwise, right? Because I've been I've been there. And truthfully, let's be honest. The private sector and the public sector cannot hire everyone. So what are you going to do? We have to survive. So I am in, I believe that we have to find ways to help ourselves, right? So that's what I'm pushing. I'm trying to push social media. So you definitely see me active in that area or any other online business like drop shipping, all those kind of stuff, right? Apart from that, you're going to see me in the art field. I'm working right now privately okay. I have some sketches laid down right now I'm not releasing it for nobody until I know it's the time to do so it's just you, when you look at it you know it's shining originally Original, okay. created that it's something like a Picasso movement 